a new day is dawning in Tropico and welcome back to our glorious city. Last episode was quite, quite worth it, I say. We have completely remodeled the downtown center. I mean, just look at these buildings. They look fantastic. Really beautiful. The whole district has changed a lot now here. Um, and yeah, it doesn't stop here. We still want to continue. Let's just have a look, a quick look what's happening. As we can see, for example, the casino is already full. And casinos do make us money. So in that case here, it's definitely worth it to have two casinos working for us. Um, and I'm going to do that. So I need to remodel that. As we can see, they're all full, by the way. Right? So all of these buildings that we just had here now are completely used. Let's move the casino um, over there. Oh, wait a second. Let's also get rid of this park there once again. I'm sorry. But I'm going to have this one again soon, right? Um, we, I'm going to change the casino up here, so we're going to have a street more or less going through that, I think, like so. And I'm going to build a second casino now for us that we have over here, right? So both of them are now then here in the center. Um, and both of them are working for us then, hopefully. <laughs> well, they should work, of course. Right, so both of them are now under construction. This one here is the next one. In fact, we can just quick build it so that it's ready as well. Um, there we have then the road, right? The road goes all the way here into the center where we have this nice plaza then as well. And on the other side, we might just squeeze in yet another little park area or something like that for our center, our glorious, glorious entertainment center that we have. Um, there we might actually squeeze in something then as well. Seeing that the restaurants are already full again and so quickly of that, even the gourmet restaurant is full all the time, we might need more of them, right? To make people even happier than that. Um, this is our little center now. Um, very cool, I think. And of course, around it, we're going to add more and more stuff. Um, especially then high quality buildings here once we go to the modern era. Those plantations here I would like to move now. They don't make sense here anymore in this area. So this for example is my corn plantation. It's my very first plantation that we had and it's a very important one, right? But it no longer serves a purpose um, so close to the city. Then we have our tobacco. Now the cool thing is tobacco is high fertility over there in this area, right? So I'm going to move both of my tobaccos. This one here. Oh, I only have one. But I've got lots of sugar. The sugar uh, plantations I'm going to move as well to this area. So there we have now all the plantations then. There is a bit of coffee. Where can we squeeze in some coffee also over there? So this is a really, really good location, by the way. Um, having a lot of fertility ready. Let's have the road connection. And let's have the road connection there. The next plantation, this one here, the sugar once again, so sugar we should have then close by. And I'm co of course, we can going to use then the um, multi crops then again. There we have the tobacco that we can squeeze in just perfectly fine in there. Something is blocking though. Oh, right, this street is not straight. Why is it not straight? Now it's straight. That's pretty important. We don't want to have these strange curvy roads in the middle. And this plantation here. Fantastic. They can all boost each other. And the pineapples that we still have. That squeezes in just fine here. It's not the highest fertility. Um, I might just have something else. Sugar. I don't have anything else anymore. Okay, then it's going to be sugar. It's yellow, but it's, it's still going to be fine because we're boosting it. Um, another sugar over here. And the pineapples. The pineapples are actually pretty important because we need that for the canned food. So I'm going to add the pineapples then there as well. Lots of lots of plantations here, right? Um, what's important? Well, workforce. How do we get all the workforce now into this remote location? There is a ranch here as well. Let's have this one. I'm going to place now a metro station out here as well. So the metro station. Um, the metro station right here in the center makes a metro station. I could have a bus system to be honest. It's it makes more sense, we right? Oh, and we have a drought. A heat wave is affecting us right now and it's reducing the efficiency of all plantations and ranches that we have. The Teamster office, I'm going to move over there to those people. Drought, all right. Do not worry, the predictions of flash fires burning down buildings are surely overly cautious. However, we may have to switch off the palace water slide for a few days and it may also be prudent to consider taking steps to address the concerns of the citizens. Uh, work goes on, life goes on, conserve water for residential buildings and pray for rain and hope for the best. Mm, since we have a bit of money, let's 
reduce the efficiency of our um, industry for now a bit. As we can see, the plantations totally stopped working, 1%, right? So they are not working at the moment. I just hope that my, yep, my factories do have quite a lot of in store. The cigar factory here has 4,800. Since we are on a drought, it might be also advised to have a second um, fire department working for us. There we have it. Um, we have one over there, right? So it might be a good idea to have another one here close to those industry circle, uh, industry areas. So let's have a fire department over there. Let's also just quick build it, just in case there is a bigger fire now coming towards us. It might be wise to have that. We also finish happy. the environmentalist oh, quest with that. Let's have the environmentalist standing, of course. This solitary restaurant, I'm going to move now. I'm going to move it yeah, here to this area where those people live, so they have something. Perfect. There we have lots of space now for residential buildings, um, towers and stuff like that. This is fine. The only thing now is how do we transport people over there? Well, by bus. Let's just check our bus network. We do have a couple of bus stations. There it is, the ending stop, right? The ending stop goes now all the way up here. So we just move this one now into this area. So people can still travel now to this area. Very good. That's that. My power plants, I might also move them a bit further away. They're really creating a lot of pollution. We might also consider the nuclear power plant now. By the way, we got the blueprint from that from a um, from a treasure hunt. They are very good, of course, but yep, they have the, the risk of having a super GAO and thus totally destroying the surrounding. So yeah, that's that's interesting to consider, I guess. Boy, it is hot in my town. There is basically no plantations working anymore and we got this glimmering effect over everything and all my industry buildings are reduced. Also, my ranches are totally not working at the moment. Um, we might use this moment to get rid of those plantations here. They are not really working that good anymore. We got some cattle and sheep here. Um, the sheep I will now move. Yep, very good. We could have this one here, actually. It's being then affected by the plantations that we have. So that is sheep number one. Sheep number two. Let's also move this one. This is more or less than our little agricultural district, right? A bit further away then from everything. Um, and the cattles. The cattle, the cattle, the cattle. Yeah, we might have that in the forest. I could also have it on the other side. Or somewhere further out here. That makes sense. Beside the factory. How, why not? Having a bit of space again. And the teamster office, I'm also moving out there a bit. Into this area there. Thus making a bit of room here in the center. The cool thing about those disasters is that my allies, as we can see, are sending me disaster relief. So we get free money on top of it. Because, you know, it is so so strong for us it is so catastrophic for us this event we're absolutely going downhill and we need all that money give me all the money let's just have a look at the eastern block i don't think the eastern block really has money to give us we could still ask for financial aid you know it is a time of crisis and we get some twenty thousand out of this and the western powers let's also ask them another twenty thousand on top of that how good is that why not by the way western powers we should request an alliance let's do this one here even where they're not um, we have to be careful. Communism is everywhere. They've taken over Hollywood. They're running the banks. Heck, there's even some red in the red, white and blue. Even the flag turned against us. It's worse than I thought. Finnish sabotage acts against the Eastern Bloc. We could also finish this one right away. Let's do this. Yep, and let's set diplomatic state of Western powers to alliance. Eastern Bloc, of course, doesn't like us that much anymore, so it was a good idea of asking for financial help before um, going with alliance with the Western powers. And why do we know that we live in a tropical paradise? Because there's sheep literally running around in my beautiful plazas. What are you doing here? I guess they kind of escaped the ranches. There's lots of sheep running around everywhere here going some places. Now, of course, it's because I've moved the sheep ranches to the other side and the sheep are now actually, they have to travel over there before this one is working again. This is really interesting. Well, that's that. Also, as we can see, there's some shacks building around the ranches now. That's because, well, basically, we have now those workplaces so far out there. So what I need to do is I need to build some houses up there as well, unfortunately. Um, they're going to be in a 
pretty remote location as far as I can see, but it's still going to be fine. So let's just see. We have 51 homeless people now because of that. So let's just have some apartments. It's basically the only thing I can do for now. And let's have us actually, you know what? Let's create a nice little apartment area here or for those um, for those apartments there in this in this area there. Right. So we have a few blocks available that should be close by. Should it? I guess it should be close by. Or we created here. Let's create it here, right? So we can have those apartments there, like so. Let's make three, and let's make another three here, right? They're being then connected by a nice park that goes through them, like so. Also here. right -o. And here we still have a bit of space for other buildings then, for high, higher quality buildings later on. Let's also finish this whole area with a park. That's going to be a nice residential zone. We might also add here, for example, because there are, you know, farmers working mostly. So it makes sense to have a smaller tavern here, perhaps, where people can enjoy their day at a few cheap drinks if they want to. And we might also add a fast food restaurant to the area. Here, perhaps. Also a nice little park. After all, we're not savages. A bit of ornaments go a long way before the in uh, well, before the farming area starts, right? So that's here. Um, and we can still add some more better buildings than in this area. We might actually also expand because that we that is something we can do, yes. We can also expand those apartments then over there. More or less. This is looking fine. I think this is going to be very good. Um, there we have the bus. I might need another metro station than here somewhere. Something like that. There's going to be more buildings, of course. We also have the fun fair that we still need. The arcade. Let's build the arcade. Something for fun as well. Over here, perhaps. Hmm. There we have the nightlife district. Let's have the arcade in the area. Here. Let's have it here for now. So that we have a, a bit of a building here. Um, nightclub, cocktail, golf course. Childhood museum. We could have a museum, a mausoleum. I'm not dead yet. I'm not going to have that. Oh, how good is that? Also, the heat wave is over again. So all of my plantations hopefully start working again. We still have the garbage dump there for the people. Let's... Creating a lot of pollution as we can see. I'm going to put it over here now, right? So it's right next to the power plant then and stuff like that. And it's affecting all of these new buildings there. And we have more room. Oh, so much space for expansion. That's beautiful. So much space. The same thing we could then achieve on the other side as well. There is the range on fire, the gold range. But it's only one fire. It wasn't really only one fire that we had in this heat wave. Now, it is the 1970s. We should actually be in the middle of the Cold War. Um, let's go for... Let's actually, before we go for modern times, let's steal one of these monuments here. For that, however, we do need the Spy Academy. Spy Academy, where do we have that? There it is. A pretty big building. It's the next one. So remember, we have the Pirate Grove, then we had our Garrison Commandos, and now we have the Spy Academy, right? These buildings provide then all of those heists and raids that we can do. Now, for the Spy Academy, hmm, once again, it's all about location, location, location. It is actually a building that... Sh oh, look at that. We have shacks here. Not good. Yeah, let's have the Spy Academy here, I think, right? In that center. And we are going to surround that with some parks as well. Getting rid of those ugly shacks. They have no right to exist here in the center. Also, our new residential area is coming along. I love that. How Look at how detailed it is and those buildings are coming up. It's actually a very nice residential zone here. All of them will get, of course, some electrification to further improve the housing quality. We've also, by the way, finished the fun promise, right? It just vanished. There was no window this time. Um, and we have succeeded with that, of course, since we have this whole thing here, um, this whole area. Both of those casinos, by the way, are almost fully used. That's just insane. And they're making us a bit of money there as well on the side. Good to see that. As this is coming along, perfect. And it starts to be a bit more lively. Um, hopefully people are moving in. This one is already full. Very good. The other ones will follow. Something to eat here. And then the plantations. 
those plantations, let's actually set all of them to a higher budget so they produce a bit more efficiency. Um, and I think multiculture is activated, yes. And what we can see is that we have some high efficiency for all of that. Canned food trade route is over. So we need to find us a new good um, trade route there. Not very good ones, unfortunately, at the moment. At least not the export ones. There is cheese. We don't have cheese yet. So let's make a smaller cheese export contract there as well. Can I still upgrade something here? So increase the efficiency. Yes, we have the extensive uh, fertilization for tobacco. Increases efficiency by 50% for tobacco. Who doesn't like that? So we are at 170% efficiency right now on these tobacco plantations. We have the corn. I don't think for corn we really do need a whole lot. Sugar is fine. Pineapple increases efficiency of nearby plantations. Upkeep of nearby plantations reduces that. Why not? Then we have the goldie here. And there we have two of those sheep branches. Both are working with good efficiency. Also, yep, veterinary vaccination increases efficiency by another 10% for each wrench. Definitely something worth considering. Very good. The next apartments are getting some people living in them. In them. And we've also finished the Spy Academy, finally. So there is something coming along. Beautiful. I love those buildings. And with the Spy Academy, what we can do now is we can start heists in the, well, in the Cold War. And one of them is now the Statue of Liberty, Great Things, uh, Colosseum of Rome, or the Basel Cathedral. I'm very much torn between Colosseum and Statue of Liberty. Both of them are pretty good. Immigrants arriving on Tropico are 100% happy and approve Elf El Presidente. Increases all tourist ratings and provides fun to visiting citizens. Right? The Colosseum, the overall happiness of citizens only takes into account their food and fun happiness. That is really cool as well. So as long as we have enough fun and enough food, people will be always really happy. That's a really nice permanent bonus. This one here, that decreases over time the longer the people are then in that. So I'd rather go with, I guess, with the Colosseum of Rome. Let's steal this one. We just would need to find a really suitable location for that. I think, yeah, over here somewhere in our fun district already, we might have it. Or we might squeeze it in somewhere here as well. Don't forget, this is going to be our tourist area. So having something close to tourists makes sense. And all those ugly factories, they're going to disappear here anyway, right? So no big deal. Oh, and we're coming along with uh, the Colosseum. We plan to miniaturize the Colosseum using state-of-the-art shrinkology. Then smuggle it out through the catacombs, but the catacombs go don't go under the Colosseum. There are tunnels underneath it, but they go nowhere. We must dig tunnel tunnels under the tunnels if the plan is to work. We can either build custom mole machines or build them or buy them off the top secret shelf. Um, deliver cars to Spy Academy 180. That is something that we can do or we can just spend 20,000. Let's deliver cars to the Spy Academy. So I just hope the game kind of like, you know, does that. In now needs to go the cars. We produce cars over here. Quite a lot of them. We should actually have all the cars by now. Um, they just need to be transported. In order to, yeah, steal the Colosseum. <laughs> there is some transporters but none of them is getting us the cars i think they're all rather busy those teamsters i think we will also need more teamsters to be honest if we want to make this work we also got lots of unemployed citizens and lots of homeless citizens so there is a bit of a problem piling up and by the way we've also surpassed 1000 tropicans in our little village here <laughs> Um, that we can call like that. Now, what can we do? I would like to do a couple of things actually. We have a beautiful housing area there now and I would like to create a little factory district over here, right? So this is going to be just factories. This is just going to be focusing on factories, this whole area. I'm once again going to move my garbage dumps. Yeah, we're going to move them out here close to the, um, the plantations. They're still going to reach a lot of people here, especially now all the factories that we're going to build. I'm going to move the cannery and the um, tobacco factories now over here, right? So they're going to work over there. There's the tobacco plant or the tobacco factory. Um, let's build a second tobacco factory then right away. A cigar factory, sorry, here. Um, and then a second cannery that we're also going to use then. There it is. So just here. Uh, yep, yeah, just here. Very good. Cannery. Um, there we have a bit of space. I might want to squeeze in a little restaurant in the area. So we have a, a 
fast food restaurant in and a normal restaurant than in the area. Let's also beautify this one a bit, you know, so once again, we want to have a couple of ornaments here at least where we have normal buildings. There is already the metro station. This metro station is going to function for this whole area there, um, beside those factories. The cool thing is, the cannery and the tobacco or the cigar factory, they take their storage with them when I relocate them. I was worried there a bit. We delivered also the cars now to the Spy Academy, so I'm guessing that the Colosseum is coming in soon. Then we have our power plants, we're going to have to move them as well, I'm going to move the power plants now up here, both of them. So we can still add, and that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to add a third power plant um, to the area here, just beside them. Right, so that's that. Lots of remodeling there of my little city. Now with that, what we can see is, yep, what I need to do is, I will probably need to build a second transmitter. So this one here, the electric substation. Let's just see where we have the power, actually. I think we're going to need it over here somewhere. Um, that's tricky. How far do they go? Electricity? No. My whole town still has electricity, so that's fine. Why do we not have, uh, have electricity then here? Are they not producing it now? Oh, they don't have the workers. Righto. Workers need to go over there. And I hope they're doing this quickly. Yes, there they're coming in. All of them. Very good. As we build the next factories. We're getting a bit low on money there, so I would really like to wait until we finish those factories. Um, and so they can really start pushing out resources again. I'm also building another Teamster office in the area, simply because we just need them. We need a lot of these Teamster offices everywhere. Um, it's a bit tricky where to place that though. Have we upgraded this one? We already have this one here upgraded. I'm going to increase the budget for all Teamster offices as well. I just should work, to be honest. We're going to monitor this one closely. Next cigar factory, next cannery are on their way as well. That's very good. That's going to be very good for exporting. And we might, since this is turning out to be a good big factory district then, we might have a cargo airport here in the area then as well. Somewhere along the lines. We'll see about that. Next factory coming up. That's also work, uh, workplaces that we create here. So that's another cool thing. Um, creamery, since we have milk close by, I might just build another creamery as well. Um, to further optimize my workflow. Somewhere here that we still have now. Lots of roads. This road here we can get rid of. We built that at some point. No longer needed. Just beside all these plantations here. All of that coming up. Ah, oh, I love it. Stay tuned.